This talks about the third programming assignment, who gets the kick? This assignment is inspired by the book Concrete Mathematics. Please refer to section 1.3 for the mathematical foundation of such a problem. Imagine that you have a group of n people and only one slice of cake. How do you decide who gets the cake? This is how we'll decide who gets the cake. The people forms a circle and mark from 0, 1, 2, and so on. In this example, there are 8 people, marked as 0, 1, 2, 3, to 7. We start from 0 because the index of an array in C starts from 0. Then, a number k, greater than 1, is selected. Let's consider this example, when n is 8 and k is 5. We start from the person whose index is 0 and mark this person as 1. Then, the second person is marked as 2. The next person is marked as 3. We continue this process until marking a person 5. This person's index is 4 and this person is removed from this game. After removing this person, we continue counting from 1, 2, 3. They correspond to the indices of 5, 6, and 7. Then, we need to wrap around to index 0. The counts are put into the inner side of the circle. Index 0 is now counted as number 4. Index 1 is counted as number 5 and removed. We restart from 1. Count 2. The person whose index is 4 was removed earlier and thus is not counted in this round. Number 3 is the person whose index is 5. The person whose index is 7 is removed. This slide shows the third round. The person whose index is 1 was removed and thus skipped in this round. This round removes the person whose index is 6. This slide uses a different representation showing how this game is played. In this slide, we represent the people with indexes 0, 1, 2, as an array. The top row shows the indexes. The bottom row shows the count from 1, 2, 3, 4, to 5. The first removed person has index 4. Then, we continue counting. After reaching the end, we wrap around to the beginning. The person that is removed the second has index 1. Continue counting, index 7 is removed. The next round removes index 6. The next round removes index 0. The left side of this slide shows an execution of the program using 8 and 5 as the inputs. The program prints the indexes of the people that are removed. As you can see, the first removed person has index 4, then 1, then 7, then 6. Let's see the program. This is the main function. The program needs two arguments using a RGV1 and a RGV2 for the values of n and k. The program first checks whether a RGC is 3. If a RGC is not 3, the program stops by returning exit failure. Then, the program uses strtol to convert the RGV1 and 2 to integers for the values of n and k. If either value is 1 or less, the program stops because this program needs both n and k to be greater than 1. At line 24, the program calls the eliminate function. At the top of the eliminate function, an array of integer is allocated. Each element is an integer. You decide how to use the array. The program will find the indexes of the removed people and print their indexes. At the end of this function, the memory is released. Please fill your code between lines 23 and 27, lines 30 and 35, as well as lines 35 to 40. Use as many lines as you need. 
The make file has three test cases using 6 and 3, 6 and 4, 25 and 7. The expected outputs are also given to you. You can see the expected output of the programs here.